Chrissy Teigen, we meet again. Hello. I would love to meet you again. I'd love to meet you the first well, time. Well, it gets old after a while. We've been to so many parties together. Wow. Yes, that's where she taught me this recipe. She conveniently also put in her book, entitled... Cravings. By Chrissy Teigen. Today we're making sweet potato gnocchi. Sweet potato gnocchi! Sweet potato gnocchi! And you know what that requires? Gnocchi. Sweet potatoes. From? Tamavo. Our favorite produce store. Yes, you can find them in Moncton. Or Shediac. Or Bedford. In Nova it. Scotia. Yes, Nova Scotia. Multi-provincial. Not Massachusetts. We're taking over the world. <laughs> so, there is a very long intro process to yes. this. You stab a sweet potato like a serial killer, wrap it in a wet, damp, Tiger towel, maybe a paper towel, whatever brand of paper towel tickles your fancy, but I know one that is strong and wet, and it is Tiger towel. Tiger strong. Yeah. Made by when he said stab it like a cereal pillow, he just means poke it a few times with a fork. Yeah. Just so we're clear. Yeah. Pop it in the microwave 12 minutes. Let that cool when it comes out. Peel it and mash it in a bowl. Yeah, he's got it. Add salt, pepper, ricotta, and flour to your mixture. Mm hmm. Three quarters of a cup. Mix it up. Knead it on a floured surface. Follow your hands, follow the surface. Don't knead it too much. Just knead it till it stops becoming sticky. You want to fold it in half and rotate 90 degrees. Do it about 10 times. Yes, and if it's still sticky after that, because it depends on the size of your sweet potato and such. Add a little bit of flour, about a tablespoon at a time. You don't want to overflour exactly. it. Exactly. Because you want it to be like soft cookie dough. It's gnocchi. You're trying to make a lovely, tender, little pillow that you eat, and it's going to be so, so tasty. Yes, nothing like pillows appetizing. Not no? like a pillow, but like pillowy. We're going to get our water ready for this. So you're going to want to bring about three and a half to four liters of water or a gallon for you American folk up to a, a roaring boil. Get it boiling and add a bunch of salt to it. Why don't you divide it into three equal balls? Roll each ball into a roughly 12 inch long log. It'll be about an inch in diameter. That's the main key. If it's a bit longer than 12 inches, cool, you got more gnocchi. But if you want it to be roughly the same circumference around. So you have those. Use a knife or a dough scraper to cut them into one inch gnocchi balls. <laughs> Let's put those gnocchi balls in your pot of boiling salted water. After a minute, stir it up. Make sure that they do not stick to the bottom. Leave them on high, let them boil. Make sure they don't boil over. It should take about four to five minutes before they boil up to the top. They're exactly. ready. Strain them. Do not rinse them! You want to keep that starch on the pasta. Yeah. While your gnocchi is boiling, you can start your brown butter sauce. Mmm, which involves butter. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Put your butter on medium-high heat. Medium. In a frying pan. Let it, let it melt. Let it melt, let it get frothy. Yes, once the foam subsides, throw in some sage leaves. Tear them off. Tear them stems. up into little, and not just full leaves, but like tear them up into little pieces. Let those crisp up. It's gonna smell so good, it's gonna smell mm. so good. Take your strained gnocchi, throw them in that butter sauce, combine them all, plate them, top them with parm. It's gonna be really good. Salt and pepper. To yeah, taste. to taste. Yeah, you're gonna taste it. This looks so spicy. <laughs> Ooh, that's tasty. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Who would have thought that starch covered in butter would taste good? I'm gonna finish this whole bowl. It's so good. This is like impress your significant other dish. Noki, who makes that at home? We're not gonna ramble too long. We rambled enough at the beginning. Make this. <laughs>